All right, folks, Picture Case 88, we are back in Ivywood. Criminal case, playing case 31, the young and the lifeless. And I, and I looked up what a Felicia was. Thank you guys for all your comments. And apparently it is, to paraphrase, because Urban Dictionary does use some uh, bad language, it's basically someone that nobody cares about. <laughs> At least that's what I got out of it. So hope you guys enjoyed Googling it. I'm sure that was a ton of fun. Uh, we need to have her more around more often so we... Uh, so we can get all these pop culture references, especially in Ivywood. But as you, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like four or five o'clock in the morning that I'm recording this and she is not up, so. Hey, it's an online video about your victim has gone viral. You need to take a look at this. We already saw this. Yeah, he's asking her to marry him. And she's like, Psh, I don't, I, I don't wanna marry you. And he goes, what? Nobody breaks up with me? Fool, nobody. Isn't that hilarious? Ace DJ Reggie P proposed to our victim, Felicia Stepping Stone, and got completely shut down. Well, that's probably why. That is a horrible wedding ring. That is not a good enough diamond. Are you laughing at failed relationships or something, Roxy? Oh, sorry, Frank. Not saying breakups are funny, but um, I'll be waiting for you guys at the bar. So first, our victim humiliates her boyfriend, and then we find her slashed to death. What are the chances the two events are linked? I agree, Ace. It's time we had another chat with Reggie P. A good point. The video was from the same pool party our victim was at last night. I can use another dip. I'll come come along to investigate. Felicia Stepping Stone. I am a stepping stone. Can't remember who sings that song. Who sings that song? I am a stepping stone. Can you believe the nerve of that girl turned down Reggie, DJ Reggie P? He would be the king of the beasts. Can you stop calling yourself by the third person? It, it's kind of confusing me. I showed that woman some real baby making love, you know? I even bought myself a new convertible in her favorite color because I knew she'd like it. And then she not only shoots me down, but she dumps me. Right when I got a new show coming out too. Nuh uh, no freaking way. Ain't nobody gonna play D DJ Reggie P like that. You say you love me in this freshly whitened smile? You better love me or else. Or else what, Master P? Would you have killed her? Killed her? Come on, dog. It ain't like that. Now, I know I got a temper, but just give me a protein shake to cool down and I'm good. DJ Reggie P ain't kill nobody. I, I just... I can't even handle people that are, are like that. I just... Above and beyond my, my, my mind. All right, so let's see. Not broken bottle, okay. Desktop phone? Who uses a desktop phone? A okay, sushi plate, uh, with a mirror, dollar dollar bills, y'all, sacks, nice sacks, and torn photo, there it is. Since you didn't let me jump in the pool this time, Ace, I got myself a drink from the tiki bar instead. I mean, of course, I was looking for clues, Ace. What'd you find? Some scraps of paper? Hope you restored something worthwhile. And this answering machine, what's it doing out here? I'm sure it's got something useful on it. If you want, I'll send it to the lab straight away. Oh, you're actually gonna help us, Frank. Good job. You're gonna walk a couple miles. And look, it didn't take me 15 hours to do this, only nine. That's convenient. So, I got plenty of stars, might as well go as quickly as we possibly can on this. Uh oh. Interesting. Look at you, Puzzle Master, you restored a photo. Wait a minute, that's our victim assistant. That little jerk didn't tell us he'd been arrested. There's some text scribbled on the picture, but it's too faded to read. Think you can handle it with the powder kit, partner? Always. That's what I do. I do what I do. Oh crap. Well that's not good. Nice reveal on that prison photo, Ace. What's it say? You you will pay for this, Felicia? Well that Tucker kid must have Tucker kid must have written on it. But why would he blame going to prison on Felicia? I agree, Ace. We need to go talk to him. Maybe he's a stalker? 
Maybe he's not really her assistant? I don't know. The dog's gonna play a part, I'm pretty sure. Ugh, don't show me that mug shot. I look awful. Rip it up before anyone else sees it. I'm gonna guess it's him, actually. We're here to ask you about the jail time you forgot to mention earlier. Not about your smile in this picture. Oh, you like my smile? Do you? Probably thanks to my magical new teeth whitener I'm using. Felicia's friend Abby uses the same teeth whitener, and it worked wonders on her, so I figured it'd give me a shot. Well, stop wasting Marshall Hayes' time. Why did you write you will pay for this Felicia on the photo? Seems you had a reason to be angry with her. I was just fra frazzled, that's all. I wanted to shine at that pool party to meet all the hot agents who could land Pookie and me our first big roles. But Felicia forgot her purse, so I drove my convertible as fast as I could back home to get it. And then I got pulled over for speeding. Of course, I didn't have my driver's license because it was in Felicia's beauty box. So those jerk cops arrested me. I spent my night behind bars when I could have been signing a movie deal. So yeah, I was a bit pissy with Felicia, but whenever I get angry, Pookie here calms me down. Isn't that right, Pookie Poo? See, I think he is. I think the dog's going to play an effect, and I don't think... Oh, she has a dog, too. I was going to say, I, I guarantee you it's not... Um, it's not her. I'll bet you anything it's not her. It's probably going to be a dog. So it's either going to be one of these two, I think. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wait for the lab to go. See you guys all in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, but you idiot, we're back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Let's figure out this phone. So the answering machine you found at the pool party, Ace, belongs to a certain Gary Silver. Well, that's interesting. Hey, we know that guy. He's Felicia's agent. Makes sense. Ace found his answering machine in his pool. Did you find anything juicy on it? Well, I did manage to retrieve the last of voicemails, and there was one from a casting company that selects actors for major motion pictures. The message said that Felicia Stepping Stone had failed to show up for an audition for the third time in a row. The casting company blamed Gary for Felicia's childish and unprofessional behavior and decided to discontinue doing any future business with Mr. Silver. Discontinue business? Wow, Gary was all about the money. He must be pissed. Yeah, I'm with you, Ace. Let's go chat with him again. Oh, snap. Somebody's in trouble. It's not us. Tried to make a change, so let me get, let me know down in the comments if the audio is fixed a little bit better. So, Mr. Silver, we heard your voicemail. Guess Felicia wasn't the shining star you said she was. Missing some auditions and all. Some auditions? She practically missed them all. Rather than showing up to these opportunities I'm presenting her, she was only interested in parties and new clothes. She's like anyone in this spoiled generation. Once she got a little famous, she stopped putting in any effort. Acting is not just about being pretty. Anyone can use teeth whitener for a better smile, myself included. But you also gotta get put in the work. I don't give any people chances, but when I do, I expect a lot. I don't drive a fancy convertible because I miss auditions. I do it because I make auditions happen. If she's gonna be lazy, then screw her. I will not let some brat make me look bad. Not to say you aren't doing great with this case, Ace, but all these leads you're finding keep making it hard to determine who killed Felicia. The revelation about Tucker going to prison and Gary being pissed about Felicia ditching auditions. And then that Reggie guy. Boy, does he need some anger management classes. Anyway, let's just hope we catch this killer quickly. I'm starting to get a headache from all this sunshine. Frank, what are you still doing here? Tourists are climbing up to the Hall Ivywood sign. You and Marshall Ace need to get there before they contaminate the evidence. Oh crap, we were just on our way, weren't we, Ace? Come on, let's go find those last clues. Better find them. All right, let's search this place. Man, look at this. I'm doing, my computer's working fine. Now it's criminal cases that's not doing so well. Uh, anyways, tote bag. It's not a tote bag? Uh, anyways. What is a tote bag? Oh. I heart Ivy Wood, that's funny. Uh, what's that, an angel? Statuette and a razor blade. There we go.
So I guess we'll see if uh, the audio is fixed on this. I'm really hoping it is. I like to use compliments sparingly, but Ace, I think you're definitely on the right track here. That bloody razor blade right on our crime scene, and after finding an empty razor case, you just found our murder weapon. There looks to be some unusual fragments on the blade too. Go click the sample real quick. And I'll trust your instincts on this tote bag. There's likely to be something suspicious in there. Better not punk out on me now, Ace. We'll catch that killer soon. I can practically taste the victory shot already. Victory shot? It's called a victory beverage. Cool, black fragments. Great work on collecting a sample off the murder weapon, Ace. Now let's send it to the lab. Can't wait to see what it tells us about the killer. Nine hours, yep. And then where's my 15 hour one coming up? Ooh. Yeah. A tote bag full of our touristy stuff and you're interested in a bottle of convertible cleaner? You're losing your touch, Ace. Of course. The killer drives a convertible, which makes this bottle of crucial importance. I knew that. Alright, Brainiac, get that cleaner off to the lab away for more hints about our killer. Every second counts. I'm way ahead of you, Frank. You're 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 on a little bit on the slow end. Fifteen hours? Awesome. So anyways guys, see you guys all in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. We're going to arrest the killer, and we got the missus with us. Well, if only I had a convertible to use this cleaner Ace brought me. Though that wouldn't be very practical with the kids. Well, no time for car talk, Jan. We've got a killer to catch. What did you find on the bottle? Well, I found some really fine hairs on it, and by the DNA of the sample, it had to be from a canine. Considering the animal and the length, the hairs could only belong to one breed of dog, Chihuahua. So the killer has a chihuahua. Start barking with joy, Ace, because now the killer is practically ours to catch. Well, except apparently everyone in Hollywood has a little chihuahua. Anyways, let's go look at the black fragments for the final clue. So good news, Ace. The black fragments you found in your murder weapon were composed of a specific durable plastic often used in tech gadgets. I managed to even find tiny specks of a small silicon chip with the black plastic that came from a specific listening device. But to get that exact product, I turned to our geek expert to shed some light. Hey Ace! So the material that you collected comes from none other than a wireless phone earpiece. Mark it down, Ace. The killer wears a phone earpiece. Can't wait to call them out on this one as soon as we catch them. Alright, so it's got to be either the agent or assistant. Mm -hmm. Pat on the back, Ace. You've collected all the evidence you needed to catch that killer. Now let's go. The quicker we catch the criminal, the quicker I get to the bar. I like how he thinks. Alcoholic. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you, Roxy, and him. So, okay, so it's gotta be... It's not her, because she doesn't have a dog. It's not him, because he doesn't have a dog. It's the girl. He does. No, it's him. Oh, it's him. Earpiece, teeth whitener, everything. Yep, it's the assistant. Because she promised... She promised to make him a star. And she failed him, oh. so he got all pissed off. <gasps> Tucker Smalls, you're under arrest for the murder of Felicia Steppingstone. You could do this one. What? <laughs> you're crazy, old man. How could I have possibly killed Felicia when I was running errands for her all night? Well, you first tried with the razor at the pool party, but she knew someone was following her, and so she tried to hide at the Imperial Theater. But you managed to follow her there, dropping your razor case in the process. We know it's yours. Marshal Ace found traces of your teeth whitener on it. So now it's a crime to have a razor? Keep an unshaven face seems more unlawful to me. Felicia escaped you again, but not for long. You followed her up to the Ivywood sign in your convertible. Mar Marshal Ace brilliantly matched your tire track. And now I'm blamed for Oof. driving a convertible? I think Marshal Oof. Ace here is just jealous. <laughs> 
Drop the act, Tucker. In the end, that precious dog of yours gave you away. The cleaner you left on the crime scene had traces of chihuahua hair. Thanks to that dog, we found our murderer. Don't you put this on Pookie. He didn't have anything to do with the murder. It was me and only me. Wow. Well, maybe instead of bringing a dog as long as you're accomplished, you should have picked a more reliable partner. Like I chose Marshall Ace. You're under arrest, and I advise that you and your dog not bark to anyone until you're in front of the judge. Tucker Smalls, you're being charged with the murder of actress Felicia Steppingstone. Your Honor, I can explain. Did you bring a dog into the courtroom? Are dogs even allowed in here? Well, I guess if they're as cute as that one, I'll make an exception. Your Honor, I did what I did because Felicia completely ruined my life. <laughs> I was her assistant, but she worked me like a slave all day and all night, running errands, doing her chores, and she yelled at me all the time. Calm down. It's not real life. It's a game. <laughs> I didn't quit because she promised me if I did well, she'd introduce me to her agent and famous friends so that one day Pookie and I could be stars too. But in the end, she wasn't interested at all in helping me out. She was like a drug to me. I felt dependent on her. But really, she just abused me. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned drugs, Mr. Smalls. I took a look at your past criminal records and it looks like you were arrested recently for possession of cocaine. <laughs> cocaine? He didn't mention anything about drugs when we spoke to him, Your Honor. He was pulled over last night for speeding, but without a driver's license, they searched his car and found the drugs in the trunk. You don't understand. It wasn't mine. It was Felicia's cocaine. When she made me leave the pool party to get her things, she was actually asking for the drugs. But since the cops found it in my car, they assumed it was mine. Because of her, I got a criminal record and will never get my chance to be a star. She screwed me over! Everyone loved her, but that pretty smile of hers was all fake. I tied her up so everyone could see her for the monster she truly was. Who's smiling now? Isn't that right, Pookie? <laughs> Please keep that adorable pooch of yours out of this. <laughs> Even if there's a misunderstanding about drugs, murder is never the solution. Maybe you'll have your chance to shine in prison, Tucker Smalls. For the murder of Felicia Steppingstone, this court sends you to 20 years in prison. Damn. All rise. Hey, at least it's not life. Some guys get life. Well done, Ace. Seems no matter the district of crime, you always know how to get to the bottom of things. Now it's time for me to get to the bottom of something. A pint of beer, that is. <laughs> ah, come on, let's go meet Roxy at the bar. Sounds good. Alright, guys. Oh, look at this, guys. I didn't notice this, but uh, this is Ivy Wood Confidential Part 1. I don't know if this is going to mean anything, but I don't remember seeing this as part of it, so... Um, anyway, stay tuned for the additional investigation. Maybe we'll learn what uh, Ivywood Confidential Part 1. Nice. So now they're doing the additional investigations. They're going to add them uh, suspense for the final case. But anyways, guys, I've been pitching Ace 88 and the misses. Over and out.